because we're pretty much hosed. So we're gonna have to find a new engine for this car. Sometimes you live, you learn. Sometimes the deal is pretty cheap, but uh, it's not bad. But we'll let you guys know. Um, well, pretty much I'll show you what I'm talking about. So obviously right here, you know, this was off. I put a flashlight, it's getting dark, you guys can see. But basically if you look down here, you can see springs missing. It's what up with that. But I don't know why you guys are gonna be able to see it. Yeah, that's no good. Broken valve on the exhaust and uh, well, it just hammered it. So not only is the head done, uh, this is done. Engine's done completely. So, <clears throat> well, long story short, you win some, you lose some, but so far, you know, minus the battery, uh, we only paid 600 bucks for the car. So, uh, now we got it, we missed all that. So anyways, guys, uh, we're here in Beaumont and we're picking up a new project. What do you say, Dave? Moo. Moo, <laughs> of course, moo. We gotta see, we got us a nice tow truck coming. Cause uh, yeah, we ain't got a trailer, so we're doing it the port way. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> oh, good as you doing AAA. So, uh, yeah, I paid for it for a reason. Does but, him backing up count as mileage? Don't matter. I got 200 miles. I don't care if it's going to add an extra mile. Does it count as mileage safe? Don't care. So, anyways, guys, we're going to go back to the car here. And uh, you guys will see the nice little project that is now codenamed what, Dave? What's her code name? Shoot. Uh, he forgot. Her code name is Petunia. Petunia. Because we bought it off a girl named Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Say hi, Dave. <laughs> Dave's not sure what's going on. So, yep. But, uh, anyways, here we go. Down the driveway. This guy's probably thinking, like, what in the world? That's nah, okay. Probably an easier tow, and like I said, we pushed it up for him, so. I don't know if these guys are ready for this. What do you think? This thing's got, it's kind of out of our uh, realm. A little. It's not, well, it's not something we normally work on, is it? No. No, and it's but. It's not something we have done yet. <clears throat> not at all. So, you guys are gonna see what genre we're going into right now. But, anyways. Something else fun. So, I got it super cool. They're gonna give him a good tip. <laughs> Shoot. This car lives a million times easier. Oh, yeah. Ain't no big deal. Like I said, we just over here chilling, waiting. But I would not want to bring our trailer all the way back here. So, if you guys are ready, without further ado, Ta-da! We bought us a 04 Honda Civic EX. Yes, we're going Honda. So, now you guys can see the funness. So, fun, fun, fun. All time fave. Love these cars, but now I finally got a two door. Always had a four, but now I got a two. And her name is? Petunia. Exactly. Pretty nice little car. So we'll be back there. Oh, there she goes, guys. Back. On our way back to the house. We'll see you back when we get yeah. on. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's everybody. Welcome back. It's the next day. So, we're putting in a new battery that we just got for this thing. I guess the cables aren't corroded on this bad boy. Surprisingly, no. No. Oh, I was waiting to hear a little car alarm or something. No. I don't think so. It does have a key fob, so we'll have to see if it's got a battery. Like a battery in that thing. Probably does, but it's probably bad. Well, that's what I meant. If the battery's good. There you go. <laughs> hey, she lights up. It's because the key's in it. You gonna do the honors? Try to start her. Let's see what happens. It's got a quarter tank. Go ahead and try to start it. Do it again. Try it. I can tell you right now the timing's off. You 
can tell, huh? Yeah. Because when, when you turn the key, you hear it popping out the air cleaner, pop, 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 which means when they did it, when they changed the head, mm -hmm. fucking timing's off because when the piston's coming up, the intake valve's opening because you can hear the pop, 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 pop right here. We'll bleep out the cussing later. Hey, I always put my videos for no kids, but sometimes I- For no kids. Because you never know what we're going to say. Well, yeah. Cuss like a sailor, so I guess. All right. So that means we're going to have to go get the tools out of the Jeep, that little box, and we're going to have to uh, line up the timing marks and everything on this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Let's get the jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be right back. Yeah. So, fun times. It's actually easier than you think. We gotta get that stuff off so we can get to the tincture. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Mm. Call them tweeters. Tweeters. Yep. Take a look at this. Calgary. Those boys named the bell. What the heck? <laughs> Buy a Honda, they say. Why? Why not? The thing is, it depends on your Honda, okay? Like, to be honest with you, there's certain years I won't touch. Like, the 06, 07, 08, 09, I think 010, like the 8th gen Honda, I will not touch. For the simple fact is, the common wear part, the starter, and where the fucking starter is, the starter is all the way on the back of the motor because the exhaust comes out the back of the engine, right? And the way it wraps around and everything, right. the rack and pinion and everything on those cars, you're like this, laying on your side, doing everything with one hand to change the starter. No thank you. Hmm. My buddy Mike bought one for like, I think $800 from somebody because it wouldn't run. And what happened is they had a, the alternator went bad and the people kept doing the battery while well, they put in another battery and they put it in backwards and they blew the main fuse right and so the car was completely dead and they didn't want to take it from Mike's house so they just sold it to him for 800 bucks well and the problem that it had was the starter was bad too and so it didn't always want to start right so they sit there messing with it messing with it messing with it and then it killed the battery and um, they drove it like that and they killed the alternator so like Mike had me go check it out and I told him all this main fuse block is blown because he went and got a new battery and I told him to do the old battery is in backwards. So we took it out, switched it, and then I showed him it didn't have anything. I was like, we looked at it and the main fuse was blown in the block there. So then we changed it and the car came to life and they didn't want to start. So I told him she's gonna need a starter. So we went up and bought a starter, put a starter in it. And that was, it took me to change the starter. It took me like three hours. Well, my brother Bruce was doing it while I was working on his Beetle. And uh, Bruce stripped out the studs, so then I had to like grind it and mess with it and do all this crap. And uh, did my little trick on the bolt where you taper it and then put the cuts in it and turn it into a tap. And even then, it took me a while to get it in. I finally got it in and all that. And we fired it up, and then it wasn't charged. So then we changed the alternator, and that was it on the car. We spent like maybe, I think we spent like $1,100 on the car in total. That's perfectly fine running car. But yeah, for that price, he got himself a really good car. The problem is, is don't call me to work on it. He's like, why? He's like, because I do not like that car. The thing is, is like, it's once we get a car, and then like, I'll see like how they are when we're working on them, and I'll be like, oh, this one completely sucks. I'm, that's where I'm like my granddad, you know? Right. So I said, after all the stuff we went through the BMW, yeah, they're a cool car, but to tell you the truth, screw those cars. I hate them. Yeah, yeah, it's real cars. Alright, so we can just take this one all the way out now. Up here. You think we'll get this thing running today? Mm -hmm. I'm smelling unburnt fuel coming out of the, the filter, too. Mm -hmm. See, with these, you shouldn't smell that. Mm -hmm. No. So, That's why I was like, eh. No, I'm telling you, the timing's off. I could hear it. 
and the fact that they said they already changed the head. I mean, if the timing's the only thing wrong with this thing, then yeah. We can get her running today. Well, I mean, I'm starting and running. We'll see how everything goes. No, I'm not gonna. What do they call that old saying? Don't count your, your uh, chickens before the eggs hatch? Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at with it. This whole system is this lower bolt down here at the bottom. That's the worst thing out of the whole power steering system. Why? Because it's the harder one to get to when the belt's on. So when the belt is on to get this one down here, it's kind of a pain. Especially if you got like big hands like me. Just me. Twelve. Oh, baby ratchet right here. Do 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 do. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. Oh, you would think that craftsman would do a better job. It's already copper. it's a tool like the tire iron back there I would toss everything she had her chance to get everything I'm not gonna be like oh yeah hey let's uh be super nice we'll buy you the rest of your job just like that power steering pump is disconnected these cars. What'd you say? I don't remember why I like these cars. What? You threw all that away that quick? Yeah, I'll throw away the black bag. Yeah, the plate? Yep. Oh. Everything. Fuck it. So like, this is why I'm oh, saying. Oh, nice. Oops, sorry, camera. No, it's okay. That's why I was telling you why I like these things because it's already out the way, yeah. all together. There's a little piece that's not in there for the reservoir, because that's the reservoir. I didn't have to disconnect all that. I'll just take the belt off, take the bolts off. And then we got this room to get to here. It doesn't seem like a lot, but to tell you the truth, we're gonna take this bracket off right here, mm -hmm. off the side of the head, get that out the way. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get the jack under there, take this piece off on the top, mm -hmm. I think done. Then uh, we should start being able to get to the rest of the stuff, to the tensioner and everything, once we get off that other cover. And this part of the mount and everything off here, off this side of the engine here. Then we'll be able to actually take it and uh, 
as I say, get the rest, we'll be able to take all that off, right? And get to the belt, reset the timing on it. Because once we get down there, the hardest part is going to be getting all this off. Because then we can loosen the tensioner, line up the crank, you know, line up the marks on the pulleys and everything, get it set back where it's supposed to be, and then put the belt back on. And then we put everything back. I told you, I've had this motor out here, like one of these out, and the transmission out and everything, put all back in like 45 minutes. It's super simple, to tell you the truth. And I think at the bottom, if you got to disconnect the engine from the torque converter, like basically I would just unbolt the intake, let it sit to the, or the exhaust, let it sit to the side, right? And then I would get all the bolts off the top because my other car it had that full air intake. So like this black, all that black box for the intake and everything wasn't even there. So obviously we're gonna buy one of those and put those on here. Cause it's just easier. And once I said, once that's gone, you're gonna be like, holy crap, there's a lot of room in here. And there is, really is. The good thing about it is you smell the gas. Yeah. It doesn't smell old. No. So I think if we were to put in probably five gallons of gas in here with some cleaner, it should be good. I think it should be okay. So frickin' petunia. Man, look at that. I think she tried to do everything with the bacon soda. No, thank you, spam. What else do we need to do right now? I need to get my back. Oh, she's there. Get somebody else. So yeah, let's get off the rest of this. I think it's only what, three. Oh, well, there's two. There's a bolt missing. So let's get a bolt. Still have the purple cleaner, so maybe we'll get our old rag. We'll clean all that off before it's taken in there, so it's not super dirty. Because I want to spray purple power on this and get it all clean. Nasty. Full, full spider webs, man. Tons of spider webs. Dave, we got a problem. What? We haven't been putting our sockets back. We're doing that again, huh? Yes, sir. Think. Can't remember. 14 or 15. Oh, look at that. I did remember. It's been what, like four years since I had a Honda? Yeah. Well, one of these. Here. Yeah. Everybody of use, they stop looking at our backs and our butts if you're into that thing. Sorry, guys. But uh, basically, you can see what we're doing on her. Because we attempted to start it once we put the battery in. You guys saw that. And uh, basically it's missing. You can hear it. It's missing through the intake. Well, this being a fuel-injected engine, the only thing, there's no distributor or nothing like that. If you guys look, it's got coil packs, right? No distributor. Everything's electronically controlled by the computer. So that leads to one conclusion. And being the fact that they said they already replaced the head on this car and then it didn't run afterwards, made me suspect that the timing belt was off. So... Basically, we're getting off all this stuff, take off this mount, and get down to this belt so that we can set the timing on the engine where it's supposed to be because obviously it's off. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Right, Dave? Yep. And Dave's learning about the car. Yep. And I'm relearning about it. Yeah. Not really. No? <laughs> Not really. I was about to say, um, so far you've been getting your... It's coming back to me. Socket measurements right on each bolt. Well, it's getting back to me. You know, I had one of these and, well, I had two of them. That one wasn't even tight, man. You can tell they didn't drive this car after they did that. Nope. No. Mm -hmm. And then with the spark plugs laying on it when we picked it up on the engine. Man, we're gonna have to show Ashley that old Petunia's working again here the next day. I would love to get this done and then send her the message and be like, look, she's running. She'd probably be all mad. She's probably like, I'm gonna kick y'all, bud. That car's set for that. <laughs> Name your ex-boyfriend, girl. I'm gonna tell y'all, sometimes it's good for YouTube, but um, if you're not quite sure 
on doing something this extravagant as like say changing the head gasket on a newer car that you've never done or a uh, in this case replacing the head because the story behind this car is she was driving it and it spit a spark plug out on cylinder number three <clears throat> so so fun times that's no big deal it's actually easier than you think we gotta get that stuff off so we can get to the tensioner mm -hmm. all right right <laughs> Buy a Honda, they say. Why? Why not? The thing is, it depends on your Honda, okay? Like, to be honest with you, there's certain years I won't touch. Like, the 06, 07, 08, 09, I think 010, like the 8th gen Honda, I will not touch. For the simple fact is, the common wear part, the starter, Know where the fucking starter is? The starter is all the way on the back of the motor because the exhaust comes out the back of the engine, right? And the way it wraps around and everything, right. the rack and pinion and everything on those cars, you're like this, laying on your side, doing everything with one hand to change the starter. No thank you. Hmm. My buddy Mike bought one for like, I think $800 from somebody because it went run. And what happened is they had a, the alternator went bad and the people kept doing the battery while they put in another battery and they put it in backwards and they blew the main fuse right and so the car was completely dead and they didn't want to take it from Mike's house so they just sold it to him for 800 bucks well then the problem that it had was the starter was bad too and so it didn't always want to start right so they sit there messing with it messing with it messing with it and then it killed the battery and um, they drove it like that and they killed the alternator so like Mike had me go check it out and I told him all this main fuse block is blown because he went and got a new battery and I told him to do the old battery is in backwards. So we took it out, switched it, and then I showed him it didn't have anything. I was like, we looked at it and the main fuse was blown in the block there. So then we changed it and the car came to life and they didn't want to start. So I told him she's gonna need a starter. So we went up and bought a starter, put a starter in it. And that was it took me to change the starter, it took me like three hours. Well my brother Bruce was doing it while I was working on his beetle and uh Bruce stripped out the studs, so then I had to like grind it and mess with it and do all this crap. And uh, did my little trick on the bolt where you taper it and then put the cuts in it and turn it into a tap. And even then, it took me a while to get it in. I finally got it in and all that. And we fired it up, and then it wasn't charged. So then we changed the alternator, and that was it on the car. We spent like maybe, I think we spent like $1,100 on the car in total. That's perfectly fine running cars. But yeah, for that price, he got himself a really good car. The problem is, is don't call me to work on it. He's like, why? He's like, because I do not like that car. The thing is, is like, it's once we get a car, and then like, I'll see like how they are when we're working on them, and I'll be like, oh, this one completely sucks. Um, that's where I'm like my granddad, you know? Right. So I said, after all the stuff we went through the BMW, yeah, they're a cool car, but to tell you the truth, screw those cars. I hate them. Yeah, yeah, it's cool cars. Alright, so we can just take this one all the way out now. Up here. You think we'll get this thing running today? Mm -hmm. I'm smelling unburnt fuel coming out of the, the filter too. Mm -hmm. See, with these, you shouldn't smell that. Mm -hmm. no, so, That's why I was like, hey. No, I'm telling you, the timing's off. I could hear it. And the fact that they said they already changed the head. I mean, if the timing's the only thing wrong with this thing, then yeah. We can get her running today. Well, I mean, I'm starting and running. We'll see how everything goes. No, I'm not gonna. What do they call that old saying? Don't count your your uh, chickens before the eggs hatch? Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm at with
zipper has threaded. Yeah. This is what tightens it. So you loosen the bottom one and loosen the nut off this side. Then you can turn that little wing nut and that's what pulls everything up and down to tighten it up. Pretty slick little system on it. Yeah. And it's easy to get to. The worst part about this whole system is this lower bolt down here at the bottom. That's the worst thing out of the whole power steering system. Why? Because it's the harder one to get to when it's open. So when this belt is on to get to this one down here, it's kind of a pain. Especially if you got like big hands like me. Just me. Twelve. Oh, baby ratchet is here. Do 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 do. Mana, mana. Mana, mana. Oh, you would think that craftsman would do a better job. It's already copper. it's a tool like the tire iron back there I would toss everything shatter chance to get everything I'm not gonna be like oh yeah hey let's uh be super nice we'll buy you the rest of your job just like that power steering pump is disconnected these cars. What'd you say? I don't remember why I like these cars. What? You threw all that away that quick? Yeah, I'll throw away the black bag. Yeah, the plate? Yep. Wow. Everything. Fuck it. So like, this is why I'm oh, saying. Oh, nice. Oops, sorry, camera. No, it's okay. That's why I was telling you why I like these things because it's already out the way, yeah. all together. There's a little piece that's not in there for the reservoir, but that's the reservoir. I didn't have to disconnect all that. I'll just take the belt off, take the bolts off. And then we got this room to get to here. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but to tell you the truth, we're gonna take this bracket off right here, mm -hmm. off the side of the head, get that out the way. Mm -hmm. Then we'll get the jack under there, take this piece off on the top, mm -hmm. I think done. Then uh, we should start being able to get to the rest of the stuff. This right here is to show that missing a bolt on there. That's one of the keys to show to a novice. Make sure you guys always put everything back. And as you can see, I always put everything back together like that. I leave it like that. Why? So I don't forget because I ain't Mr. Perfect. So don't say I'm Mr. Perfect. Because I forget about this stuff. Oh, I forgot. Alternator needs to come down too. Yeah, because we're going to take this whole bracket right here off, right, once we get the motor mount out. So the alternator needs to come off as well. Just a good thing we disconnected the battery. It's a nice, beautiful thing about this, Dave. All right? Is these little belts over here. Mm -hmm. ah. A ring. Is, these little cars have two belts instead of one, which is nice. So you blow a power steering, 
sucks, but same point, not a big deal. Hmm. So, you know the other nice thing about this, Mr. Dave? What's that? Has another wing nut to tighten up your lower belt for your alternator and AC compressor. Nice. Pretty easy when it comes to that stuff, so go back down here, get the rest of these loosened up. I mean, yeah, it's a Honda, but you know what? At least it's not a Hyundai or Hyundai, however you want to pronounce it. But basically, some of my mom's friends, they have a little Hyundai, a little four-door car. I think it's a nightmare. But the worst one ever, and I'll tell you straight up, the worst one ever I ever had to work on mm -hmm. out of the little cars was the one I got for the one that uh, the X had that she drive around, a little XA. That thing was a nightmare. You could not get the water pump out for nothing. You basically had to unbolt everything on the engine and the axle and you had to shift the whole engine to the side mm -hmm. because like this cross member down here on the car the freaking water pump was literally like that far from it nah yeah yeah that was the worst and then even that little hyundai sucked i mean i did it for my mom's friend cat mm -hmm. and then her husband because her husband was pretty much useless like it's so funny he comes trying to talk to you like he's your dad because he has the hots for my mom he does because they've been they were in high school together they've known each other since high school and he's had a thing for my mother since high school so he always comes in and he tries to act to you act to you act like he's your father to you not act to you that doesn't make sense like what the fuck? But anyways he tries to act like your father and honestly he's about as useless as tits on a board huh i'll tell you straight up that's like, pretty damn useless yeah, so, and I mean not to sound like a big jerk, but I'm going to tell you straight up the truth. Uh, guy's pretty useless when it comes to anything. <clears throat> He's one of those people, like, he'll work a couple months, and then he'll go back on disability. Uh, <coughs> bless you. <coughs> because he doesn't want to work, but then he'll sit there and try to talk crap to you about what you do for work. Like, oh, you should do something better, or you should this. Nah, dude, how about you just worry about yourself? How about that? That sounds great. Sorry, I don't want to get in a rant, but basically... <laughs> I did the clutch and everything on her car because, well, he's in his 60, or almost 60 years old and the guy's useless. He doesn't know a damn thing about working on a car. They'd always come to me and ask me to do their stuff and I'm just like, when it came to his, I'm like, nope, you're a jerk. Take it to a shop. Hmm. But Cat is really nice. That's why I work on her stuff. So Scott, oh, thank you. You act like a jerk. I don't want to do nothing for you. Why should I? <coughs> If you be a nice person, I will help you out like no tomorrow. I don't care. But if you be a jerk, nope. Sorry, forget it. Okay, I don't think we're going to get these pliers in here to twist this thing. Uh, what else do I need? Maybe a crescent wrench I can put on that wing nut to loosen it. What nut? The wing nut. Right here. This one. That'll actually loosen this and let it swing back in there. So i got to find the other remember where the other bolt is. It's been a while. Oh, that's that little one. So we don't even have to take the alternator off. I just need to swing it out of the way so I can get to those brackets. Yeah. Well, because there's bolts under here, because this bolt's here, so there's a couple bolts in the front, and there's a, like a bolt or two under here. Mm. So you gotta get the alternator to swing out the way so we can get to the bolts. It doesn't have to come completely out, it just has to swing out of the way. Um, like I said, I'm trying to figure out what size that one is down there, I forgot. It's a 12. <clears throat> it's a 12 by 13, one of the twos. Is it 12? Yep, it's 12. It's a 12. So is that three for three? E. Yeah, I remember. There we go. What are those things? 
as they leave those bolts loose on here, right? Right. And then you twist that wing nut and it'll put tension on your belt. It's one of the best freaking setups I've seen. I'm sorry for all you people that don't like Hondas. Hmm. I like this Honda. Fucking... Get my phone off the charger. Do you need anything from inside the house? Oh, uh, right this moment? I don't think so. I think we're good. I'm just going to keep working on this and get this thing off, this alternator. So, like we said, not every car is this nice. And, yeah, it's compact. But, I will tell you all this. And, oh, that's the bigger. Duh. Okay. Basically, when it comes down to it, <clears throat> this is not a bad car to work on. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. As far as some of the newer cars, but man, I've owned a '91 uh, Accord, which is pretty simple to work on. I mean, it's an Accord. How hard can it be? And being that old wasn't that bad. And owned a 92 Civic. And, uh, yeah. I mean, those cars were okay. But, in the grand scheme of things, my 01 and my 05 that I used to have, my coupes, or not coupes, my sedans with the four-door, uh, were actually pretty awesome little cars. To tell you the truth. Being the fact that they still had these D17s. Now, for me, this is going to be the first time I've ever owned a VTEC motor. So for all you VTEC guys, and I probably know the D17 on the 7 gens are probably the worst that you guys don't like. But me personally, I love them. your booty out of there so I can get to the bolts. So, again, let's probably take the bottom one out all the way. I just pull this alternator completely out of my way. So, the rest of this off. I'm almost there. Dave. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the tensioner for the timing belt is right behind the big mount that's right here that we're taking the alternator off to get to. Yeah. Yep. You yeah, should probably take all these damn, all these spider webs out of here too. <laughs> My luck being out there all the way in Beaumont, they're probably black widows. Mm.
I really hope she did not call me for what I think she called me. Who was Sonia? The Ariel. Oh, Ariel? Yeah. Dave, you gotta come to work. Uh, that's why. And that's the only real reason why she would call me. Sonia will call me if I'm in trouble. No. Well, because Ariel does the scheduling too. Yeah, so. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. That's why I always think. That's why I'm always thinking of every time I think of her name. The Little Mermaid? The Little Mermaid. Nah. One, two. I was correct. Two bolts under there. Same my first rodeo. I think we do need. I do need something from over there mm. in the house. Somewhere. See if we have a old rag. Old rag? Yeah. Purple power? Oh, we can bring the purple power. Just need an old rag. Did you is your drink empty or did you knock it over? No, it's empty. But we have more drinks than this one, so not really. Oh, yeah, I know. I just was wondering. Do we got any I just need a rag to wipe my hands and stuff. And we'll get on this next. Are there any rags in there? Or are they just paper towels? You know what? Hang on. And talk about technical difficulties. First, the memory card's full, then the battery dies on us. So, anyways, um, back to what we were saying. The uh, timing marks on the back of the timing gear for the cam and being an overhead cam motor, well, engine as some of you guys say, motor, whatever you want to say. Basically, uh, we got to pull the valve cover off and everything like that. So, that's where we're getting at right now. And uh, show you how to time this bad boy. So, here we go. Ready? You're stuck? How are you stuck? Nah. Okay, well the thing is, is go this way. And that's a 10 as well? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. So let's get these couple things out of the way. Oh, what? No, I told you those have to come off. I didn't know those came off with that. Yeah. The... These little nuts. I told you. In my first rodeo when it comes to these D17s. So for all you enthusiasts out there that can't decide whether motor, engine, whatever, Funko just calls it the zoom zoom. Nah. The zoom zoom. It goes room. Yeah. Or sometimes it goes room pop, 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 and dies. So either or. Ooh. Depends on how you take care of it. That's no bueno. We didn't put washer on that thing all the Basura. Oh, basura. Mateo. That was a nice mistake. What'd you drop? A uh, small bolt. And where'd it go? Down here somewhere. Straight through or no? I don't know. They probably bounce off somewhere. <sighs> That's beautiful. Hey, idiota. Petunia. Oh, that her first one that want to be a jerk was that, I guess. I mean, shoot, everything else is indecent. All right, this side's broken, so we'll go ahead and break it some more. No, I'm not gonna break it some more. I was gonna take the nut from that side, put it on that side, and then I'll get a, something else to fix this. Because when we go to the junker, we'll get this whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> Boom. That was fun, Bart. Well, I don't want to mess up that line because if that thing has stuff, there. Put everything else out of the way. Stay. I didn't even put that back on right. <sighs> Can I get to this one? Yeah. No, I just gotta be careful with that line because I move a little bit, but uh, I don't know if this thing's charged or not. And if it's charged and the AC works, I don't want to mess with it. I don't mess with taking it off, you know. Yeah, they'll stay once they come loose enough. Well, for the most part. Take these ones that are coming out out. And there are the rest of the 10,000 bolts we've taken out of this thing. Six. 
think some of them there's like a little clip at the end or something where they'll stay in. Yeah. So, I don't get it. We'll see, we'll try to lift it off in a bit. Doesn't walk. I don't know what's going on. I didn't even put the hose back on for the evap. No? No, for that system. <laughs> like the hose wasn't even on. Like the clamp wasn't even on. That's where everybody says, oh, you're gonna tear the hose. I don't care. It's cheap, I'll replace it. I'm pretty sure I got another one laying inside the freaking truck. Yeah. Yeah. Just junk out of here. I don't know that stuff falling in the motor. instructors probably all mad they're like Matthew we've told you it's a engine the motor is electric I'm like, okay yes sir whatever Siliconed it. Really? Really? Boom, boom. There you go. Oops. What? <laughs> hey! We just siliconed it. So we're changing a valve that we're gas yet. Huh? Oh, she is actually pretty clean. Yeah, for the most part, not bad. Tell you the truth, we'll just make sure we don't knock any junk down in there. So, now what? Okay, so here is on this. Yes, yeah, it did silicone. Let's keep it in there. Ay, ay, ay. And look, right here it'll leak out of there. Yeah. Okay guys, don't use silicone on these. These gaskets are cheap enough. So before we put her back all the way, we'll put it on, but we know we got to change that gasket out. So get a valve cover gasket for her. So cheap. These things are cheap. We put no damn silicone on a silicone freaking gasket, man. There's no point. Just buy one. They're cheap. They didn't know. Well, they watch people like us. Yeah. And then they do. So, can't blame them for trying. I give them an A for effort. But, I mean, that's not the way to go, guys. And don't break stuff when you're taking it off. The, the point of taking it apart is to fix it, not break it. Yeah. So... That's where we're gonna be at with her. At least know she's getting oil pressure up here because everything's oiled when we're turning it over. So that's a good sign. Yay! Yeah. But then if you look at things like this, like look in here. Like, come on, peeps. Aww. Come on, peoples. So I think maybe we go get Jace. We'll go to a lot of parts store and pick up a valve cover gasket for this thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. So Mr. Dave. It's like they told you. We are going to basically do like I said. I've slid this gasket off without even taking the tension off before. <laughs> Whether or not do that or not. Look at that spider and the egg sack and stuff out of here because I don't want to have a spider in my engine. Should be able to climb walls. <laughs> Hmm. So, well, we'll be back. We gotta go find the uh, proper size socket and everything so that we can turn this engine over by hand. 
Um, that way we can take the belt off and then line up the cam on the top, get everything put back together. And we'll test her and see. Um, so like I said, my theory was with this old girl that basically the timing's off because when we tried to start it, it was what? Firing through the intake, which makes me think that... <laughs> That's a good way to say we're back. Oh yeah, we're back guys, sorry about that. Um, basically, yeah, what we're doing right now, what we found out is we lined up the marks on the crank with the case and here before we take the belt off i'll show you guys what i'm talking about might be a little hard to see but right in here there's little marks on the side if you look at it right here it is uh not lined up where it's supposed to be it's supposed to be dead even right here so the cam is a couple teeth off on the timing belt and that's a problem which is probably not running so it's theoretically which we don't know for sure but um Ashley told us that uh, the car was running and just spit that spark plug out and stuff on her and it died on her so they got it home and her uh, ex-boyfriend went ahead and replaced the the head and stuff on it with another head and well when they did it we we're thinking okay well maybe they didn't do the timing right we put a battery in the car tried to start it which it was backfiring through the intake which means the valves are still open so bottom line is uh we said okay the timing's probably off on it because if everything's right even if it ain't running right it's got spark and stuff and obviously it's got fuel getting to it because it's trying to backfire through the intake it means the timing's off so here we're at back at it hi yeah mr dave says hi of course so we already got the tent the tensioner loosened so we're gonna go ahead and take this belt off and we're gonna get this thing lined up we're gonna back this cam up where it's supposed to be get this belt off because I don't like putting tools on the belt because it'll mess the belt up. And then I can rotate this bad boy back. Let's see this one. For those of you who can't tell, yes, he is moving it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> slightly trying to line them up. So they look like they're lined. Let's clean this junk off the side of the engine here and see. Ain't a good flashlight. Let me see if I can go get one real quick. Okay. So basically what we're trying to do is there's a, a, a keyway in here that lines up this... Uh, cam gear when you put it on keeps it in position and that's supposed to be straight up and down and then there's two marks one on each side of the cam gear that uh, these little notches that line up with the sides of the head so that's where we're trying to redo it because basically it was off about four teeth on the timing belt and uh, we'll make sure we put everything back on and tension it that it doesn't move and everything's put back where it's supposed to be and we'll put her back together and give her a fire see how she runs uh, for the most part everything looks good i mean that looked bad head actually looks fantastic inside except for the silicone job actually if you're watching go smack your old boyfriend don't don't put silicone on motors not like that not on a silicone gasket do me that favor but i said Get old little petunia going here because well i don't care what people say i like these little hondas they're great little cars they're fun to drive i mean just by no means for all you guys out there that love the b16 it's a great motor nothing wrong with it but for me personally <laughs> i love these little d17s they're simple easy everything's simple to get to yeah you might have to take off the air box little things like that but uh I mean, you guys have seen here within a matter of like two hours you know we've gotten this thing tore down where we're at and we're getting ready to put it back together so not a big deal it's actually pretty good <clears throat> but anyways a couple little things we fix on her get her up and rocking and rolling the way she's supposed to be and uh yeah we have us a nice little zoom zoom to run around everywhere 
It'll make me happy. And then I give Dave something to drive instead of old Bertha. The cheaper on his wallet so he can go buy himself something. So don't tell him, but uh, I think he's already decided he wants one of these cars. So we end up having two of them. But maybe we'll do a competition to him. We'll do a, a build off and see whose car you guys like better. You can vote for it. Or we'll do something. Maybe the winner, you guys can bet on it. Maybe the winner will get something. We'll see. <clears throat> Don't know yet. Too early to tell. But you guys are going to watch this car do an amazing transformation. And y'all are going to love it. I mean, if you're into these little cars. But, I mean, we bought this car at a very reasonable price. And, yeah, put some work into her. But, I mean, shoot. Every one of these cars that I bought, the other two, they needed work, and I drove around all over the place. I like this thing multiple times on the weekend. Out to uh, Scottsdale, Arizona to go visit the kids, you know. I mean, my other half go visit my stepkids. She'd go out during the week. Oh, I found another no-no cha-cha over here. Okay. Well... We ain't pulling her together right now. I'm gonna tell y'all why we ain't gonna put it together. We gotta get this locked up and get that stuff back on the side. But um, I just noticed a no-no. This could be another reason why she ain't running properly. So it took changing the batteries, but I got one. Okay, Dave. Well, we just made a discovery. Why? Well, I'm not gonna like this, am I? No, we're going to the junkyard tomorrow. Why? Because we gotta get the the top here. So if you look, I think we're, I think the head's coming off. You know why the head's probably going to come off? Why? Because it looks like she has a dropped valve. Huh. So... What would be, let's say one, two. So on uh, cylinder number two, one of the intake valves on her, the actual retainer and little clips are missing. So that is a no-no, not at all. I mean, it's probably hard for you guys to see, but if you look in here, there's no retainer right there. And if you see right oh, here, shit. here's the retainer along, well, the little, uh, top of the spring pack here's part of the retainer and there's two little clips that go down in there so if you guys look this one is missing so somebody did a no-no on putting that in there well, if you're looking Ashley kick your old boyfriend's butt because that is a big time no-no I don't know why somebody did that but uh, yeah it's a big thing to look at <laughs> even the adjusters missing Dave so yeah, we're gonna get one of these off the other one. We're gonna get one of these here. And let's look around in here. We'll make sure that we don't find that cap laying down under here somewhere. Cause if we got into the cam, we're SOL. We're down into the bottom of the engine. So we found a point of uh, fixing it. But luckily what we can do is uh, and take that off. So this old rocker assembly has got to come off this head. And uh, we'll get that lock nut, we'll get that retainer and everything off of the other one. And we should be able to get in there with uh, something. Maybe set a soft jaw pliers and pull that valve up. Then we'll take the uh, spark plug mm -hmm. and we'll pressurize that cylinder to hold them. Alrighty guys, I know I said that was going to be the end, but uh, decided to keep going on her. And after discovering that that one um valve spring was off with the keepers and stuff decided to keep going on it and pulled it down well take a look um i think it's gonna be the end of the video because we're pretty much hosed so we're gonna have to find a new engine for this car sometimes you live you learn sometimes the deal is pretty cheap but uh, it's not bad but we'll let you guys know um well pretty much i'll show you what i'm talking about so obviously right here you know this was off I put a flashlight it's getting dark you guys can see but basically if you look down here you can see springs missing it's what up with that but I don't know why you guys are gonna be able to see it 
yeah that's no good broken valve on the exhaust and uh well it just hammered it so not only is the head done uh this is done engine's done completely so <clears throat> well long story short you win some you lose some but so far you know minus the battery uh we only paid 600 bucks for the car so you know at the junkyard i know there's no five sitting in there um just checked it out and uh looks like we might be grabbing that one's engine and going from there as long as well it doesn't have a catastrophic failure so we'll see but uh this one done hole in the piston uh, i was feeling in there and uh until i finished pulling the head off the rest of the way there's another plug i gotta get and then uh, hose and i can pull the head and then take off the rest of the way but as far as it goes right now she done <laughs> so well win some lose some but till later next time heathens